corner team. Dima Mikhailovich from the Ukraine, they train together, says that his man's a quick learner. Well, he's going to certainly learn a lot either way this evening. Big, big crowd to perform in front of, big stage as well. starting to fill up here at London's Indigo O2. The Muay Thai Grand Prix 7 well underway here after a terrific opening evening of kickboxing action in the Kickboxing Grand Prix, which went down very well with the fans ringside. Now making his way to the ring in the second contest of the night here at the Muay Thai Grand Prix, Phil Casper from the Bloodline Gym, who's stable mate, Dave. Use of our tails on the end of uh, the wrong end of the decision against Alan Jones second contest of the evening tonight. Yeah, very heavy hands. All the guys from that gym. Got Paul there in the, in the corner. And uh, Greg Wooten, too. Some big, tough lads in that gym. And uh, Phil Casper always brings it. We've seen him fight here before. Looking nice and relaxed, too, isn't he? Enjoying the occasion, soaking up the atmosphere. And always interesting, Dave, to see how different fighters react to this kind of environment because no doubt about it if you suffer from nerves this is only going to make it worse but if you love the big occasion this is going to really fuel you yeah very true some people buzz off it some people let it let it hinder them Phil is cool as ice he's confident in his own abilities and this has the makings of a good fight in the minus 77 kilogram division and will be contested over five two minute rounds introducing to you firstly fighting out of the blue corner he's representing Payak Sam Jim in central London it's Fabio son of the stars and you and across the ring fighting out of the red corner Representing Bloodline Gym in London, it's Mr. Ghost, Phil Kaspar! Okay, fine, send it to me. All right, guys, you understand the rules of fine under big class Muay Thai rules. You both understand those rules. When you have a knockdown, you must go to neutral corner, and we're not beginning to count to do so. Everyone understand it? Touch guys, gentlemen, back to your corners, please. So, five two-minute rounds at B-class Muay Thai rules. Fabio Aegis in the blue corner, Phil Casper in the red. Okay, you ready? You ready? Hey! Round one. As we get underway, as you said, B class, slightly longer rounds now, and you're allowed to knee to the head. Still no elbows, but bringing in more of the Muay Thai weapons and the arsenal that is available to a fighter. Phil Kasper, you'll see, operating out of the southpaw stance. And Dima Rokoilovic, the coach and stable mate of Fabio Aegis, has been trying to mimic that in sparring. He himself, a southpaw. Straight 
strong. And well set though, Casper. Yeah, you see how he gets his hips back there so that he's pushing his opponent over his own body weight backwards, over his center of gravity, and just sets himself nicely there. Again, it's tiring more for the man in blue. Strong teeth there though from Aegis, just misses with the right hand, telegraph that a little. It's high kick there from Casper. Great body kick landing back from Blue. Again, it's that sort of thing that Fighting the South for. There are very specific things you need to do and not do. Phil Casper just looking very relaxed in there. Bit of variety there from Aegis going low with the first kick in the midsection with the second. Now, never the money round the opener. A little bit of a data gatherer for both competitors. Yeah, exactly. This is where you see you faint, you see what they do. Nice little lean back and counter there from Man in Blue. Good timing, but. Stay out of the way, the left hand there, just shook him back onto his heels momentarily. Stiff body kick though, and it looked to be impactful, but Casper was swift in his counter and sweet. Yeah, that, that right body kick landed nice and clean against the so four. That right body kick is a, a crucial, crucial weapon. Very measured first round from both guys. You can see by the demeanor in both corners, they're both very relaxed. This is just, as you say, it's a data gather uh, gatherer. Phil Casper's cornerman there, Greg Wooten. Yeah, formerly of KO Gym, doing, doing some work there with Bloodline. A wealth of knowledge for all over the world and, and at the top level. Richmond and Anne in the corner as well. Haven't seen him fight for a while. It'd be good to see him back in action. Again, very rangy fighter. Corner, 10 seconds. Used to fight, I think, about 67. Looks a bit bigger than that now. So early days for Phil Casper. Round two. And will we start to just see both of these men click up into gear number two? Good strong left body kick there from Casper. Answered straight back. It's nice. That kick from Casper just across the arms, but pushing his man off, off the mark. So it's still good score. Good strength again from Casper showing dominance there. Yeah, psychological thing that as well. If you're sat on the canvas looking up at your opponent standing over you, it's always a bit annoying. Jab landed there, right hand didn't, and yet again, he just finds himself well, he's back on the canvas. Yeah, Casper always catching that uh, right body kick. It'd be better to kick higher with the right body kick and aim it up on the arms of Casper so that it can't be caught and it does damage and still pushes him off position to score. Because Casper's uh, not finding it hard to, to catch that kick when it's clean. And again, Dave, the uninitiated watching this at home, what sort of kicks do you think take the most energy out of you as a, as a general rule? From the kicker? Yeah, from or the kicker's point of view, yeah, if you're throwing a kick, which kicks are, are taking the most energy? Oh, the higher, the higher you're kicking, the harder it's going to be to get your leg up, and it's a very powerful movement. Look at that left body kick. Beautiful score. Hit his opponent and bounced him off about a foot to the side. So just pre prior to that though, Fabio just throwing that right kick a bit half-hearted and throwing the right hand over the top because Casper was reaching down. So he is noticing what he's doing. I like the way Casper times that left body kick on the way in just to push his man off the mark. So the men as expected, they just go up a, a notch there. Still not uh, all cylinders firing. Yeah, I reckon we'll see that in round three. Again, the money round. A 
some of the replays there. There was a moment just at the beginning of the round, Ray just caught Casper just off guard and a little off balance too. But Casper, every time we're seeing there, Dave catching that leg and sweeping, did that on a number of occasions. Yeah, very much so. I wonder if we'll see it in the replay though. You saw Fabio throw the right kick, but then follow in with a right hand afterwards because he knew it was going to get caught. See Fabio switching southpaw, but it's not a good idea if you're not naturally a southpaw. Sometimes people try and mix it up like that, but if you're not as effective from that stance, then for me it's a bit of a waste. Better to, to sit in what, you're, what is comfortable to you, what is natural to you, and just do the simple stuff right. Here we go for the money round, round three. Oh, look at that solid kick. Look how much it moved him. Big score when you show that sort of power. Again, in Muay Thai scoring, it's very important. Good referee in there from Jesse Saunders, just keeping Casper safe as he was on the deck. Ball his leg in between the uh, second and third rope. Oof, low kick to the inside there, but then again, I like yeah, that just score. going back to the teeth. Yeah, that he does it sort of off the front leg sideways. Thai, very Thai style way of doing it. Very effective, but then he doesn't do anything with it. He pushes his man off with it, and then I'd like to see him step in and kick or capitalize on that. So again, no elbows here, otherwise you would want to be tying those arms up. You get away with it in B class, not when you go A class. Good, and Dave, to your, uh, to your extremely trained eye, Fabio Aegis is from that Taekwondo background. Is that clearly in evidence here? Or would you say, looking at him, that he's adapting to the Muay Thai style pretty well? I'd say he's adapting well. That, that side teep will, will, will be that from that background, I would suggest. It's something that you do very effectively in Taekwondo and can be brought over to great effect in, in Muay Thai, as you can see. But I'd like to see him do a bit more. You can see the difference in power Casper's kicks have compared to Fabio's there. Oh, that was a really nice straight jab, straight down the middle, just rocked Aegis back onto his heels. Aegis responds there, kick to the midsection. Always a danger though, Casper. And just a, a, perhaps a sign there for a moment that Aegis has been hurt. He's just taking a, a deliberate breather, looking like he's setting back onto the ropes, trying to step off. Yeah, Casper letting him, letting him rest as well a little bit there. I would have liked to see him... He, he cut the ring off, but he didn't do anything. Uh, I would have liked to have seen him capitalise a little bit more. And Maybe you usually know when you've got your man hurt, don't you? Yeah, put a little bit of pressure on. No so good, strong finish to the round for the man in red, Phil Casper. Yeah, still got two, two hard rounds to go. Plenty of time. Four, big round in Muay Thai. You have a big round four. If Casper has a big round four, you can just sit back in five. As they both eat punches galore here. There's a bright smile on the face of Aegis oh. there. Took a couple and grinned and just came back with that stiff body kick with the rear leg to the midsection of Casper. He's again walked into a couple of shots here. There's some great straight shots down the middle there from Blue. That's what you want to do against the South Four, straight right down the middle. Oof, Kasper getting ever closer with that high kick. Raw oh, walks him into a stiff South Four jab. Oh, wow, Aegis coming forward. Yes. Good hands for Kasper just taking his foot the gas there. For a split second, and the Italian taking complete advantage, as he should. Casper needs to keep his wits about him. Well, it's one thing that we know about Muay Thai is the ebb and flow could be quite remarkable sometimes. Never, ever count anyone out at any stage of a fight. 
whilst Casper has shown moments that indicate he's on the front foot and that he could start to really take control of this one. You've just seen there why this sport is so exciting. Oh, nice southpaw left hand off the back of a touch jab from Casper. Again, Aegis coming forwards. Yeah, Casper just needs to step. Oh, look at that kick again. Terrific. So good. Absolutely terrific. He needs to sit back and kick more. And that. the hands off the back of it, then the knee. Casper having a better spell through. Casper this third minute. Casper steps to his right before he throws that left. It will land much cleaner. Casper on the hunt. Aegis backs up into the corner. Left hand landed really cleanly. Just spun Aegis's head. Now he takes a walk, trying desperately to manufacture himself some space with eight seconds on the clock. Goes for the low kick. Trying to deter Casper from coming in. Up the cut, then the knee just blocked on the gloves. Good finish from the man in the red corner again, Dave. Yeah, very strong. For me, it's all red corner this fight now. And uh, I would expect Blue to come out going for a knockout because in my eye, he needs that to win. Could make for a very interesting fifth and final round. Casper just needs to keep doing what he's doing, protect his win. And Blue needs to come out all guns blazing, I, as far as I see it. Should be interesting. Just put it all on the line. He's come forward, walks straight onto a really stiff right hand from Casper. That's hurt him. Swings the kick and misses. Casper slams the high kick in. He's on the hunt early in round number five. Ooh. Goes for something a bit special. Got his leg caught and was counted as a result. Got to be careful, Casper. Does he want to yeah. take too many unnecessary risks, Dave? Yeah, 100%. He doesn't need to be doing this. Casper loves an exciting fight, but he doesn't need to be doing this. Well, Casper just keen to put an exclamation mark on a good performance so far. Just took a knee round the back from Aegis. Exciting start to round number five. Two kick combination from Aegis. Casper swings that kick in really, really well with good solid power. Remember, B-class knees are low to the head. Stop aim, hey, hey, look at the stop. Don't grab the ropes, okay? Last warning, do not grab the ropes. Hey. Referee just warning uh, Aegis that he can't grab the ropes in the clinch. Doing better to evade that uh, trip now when he gets his kick caught. Hey. He's always all, almost expecting the sweep, isn't he, now? Oh, there's been a great deal of clinching at all in this one. No, not really. Casper's left body kicks, very good for me. Again, walking there you into go. that stiff south uh, south pull jab. Come her now, down he goes. Just hit with a jab as he came in kicking. Just took him off his feet, but it was a flash, a flash drop. You don't get a count for that. No, and he's certainly not hurt either. With yeah. nine seconds in this final round, Casper again landing the lead hand well. Comes in, high oh, kick to the head. Good landed. way to punctuate round number five. And Aegis is hurt with moments on the clock, saved by the bell. Oh, almost saw a stoppage there, I think. What a tough lad this, uh, this Italian is. Well, had he had 20 more seconds, and I think the result may well have read something quite different. And Aegis with a wry smile perhaps knows it as well. Phil Casper really punctuating a controlled and measured aggressive five round performance. And certainly he looks to be the favourite going into the scorecards. So we're having a look at the replays there, just see Casper driving those kicks in. Always looked in control, didn't he, Dave? Rarely looked under pressure or out of his comfort zone. He just acknowledges us here at the commentary desk, <laughs> pulling his head out of range there. Really good performance. That was the jab towards yep. the end of round five. Took uh, his opponent off his heels, and we'll now go to Peter Lowe.
for the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both men, please, after five hard-fought rounds of action. And after those five completed rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favor of your winner, fighting out of the red corner, it's Phil, Mr. Ghost, Kaspar. And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Fabio Andrews. So, a big win for Phil Casper. A valiant loser in Fabio Aegis. See both of these two again, I'm sure.